Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see one of the application of OPAM that is nothing but analog multiplier. So let's begin with the topic. Multiplier, as its name indicates, an active network which produces output voltage proportional to or equal to multiplication of the input signal applied are called as analog multipliers. Now, first understand the symbol of analog multiplier. Now, let's see the symbol first. In the symbol, there are two input signal x and y, one output signal that is equal to z and k is called as scaling factor of multiplier. Therefore, as its name indicate, the output that means z is equal to multiplication of input signal along with scaling factor k. So z is equal to k into x into y. The analog multipliers can be implemented by using the various techniques. Some of the techniques are by using log anti-log amplifier, by using variable transconductance amplifier, by using quarter square multipliers and many more. Out of these techniques, variable transconductance multiplier are the most commonly used technique. If x and y are or v1 or v2 are considered as two input signal, then the output signal is given by vo is equals to v1 into v2 along with the scaling factor get multiplied. v1 and v2 are the input signal and k is called as constant or scaling factor. The unit of k is v raised to minus 1. The multiplier can be an analog multiplier or it can be a digital multiplier. The accuracy of digital multiplier is very much higher as compared to analog multiplier. So this is what about the analog multiplier which provides output voltage Z or V0 as a multiplication of input signal that means XY or V1, V2 get multiplied along with the scaling factor that is nothing but K. So I hope you understand the topic of analog multiplier. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.